the key findings from this analysis really were looked at um, progression-free survival, metastasis-free survival, and also overall survival. Uh, and the way that we looked at it is we divided it into three different groups of patients. And mind you, these are all patients who've developed non-response to pembrolizumab while on therapy. And uh, for, for these three groups, we used the four-month mark um, after they've developed non-response. So if they had radical cystectomy within the first four months, they're classified as immediate radical cystectomy. And those that had radical cystectomy after four months is delayed cystectomy. And then there are those patients who did not have radical cystectomy at all and just pursued bladder sparing therapy. And in these three different groups, we found that there was no difference in progression-free survival, metastasis-free survival, as well as overall survival. In addition to that, comparing the patients who've had radical cystectomy within the first four months versus those that had it after the first four months, we didn't find any difference in the distribution of the pathologic staging for these patients. 